seated position. So just make sure that you sit nice and comfy, let your knees fall to the sides, just roll your shoulders back, and just feel free to lift your arms first on the top of your knees. And we're gonna start with just connecting with yourself, a few deep breaths in here. So make sure you actively press your bum cheeks against the mat. And just let your shoulders kind of fall naturally away from the ears and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your chin close to your chest and breathe. Just give yourself a little bit of like a, an itinerary, checking out the boxes, see where you are, how does it feel, I think someone wrote something on the on Zoom. Oh yeah. Let me check. Sorry, I just just pop up on something. Zoom has seized up. Trying again. Okay. I'll just I'll I'll approve her whenever she's ready. Whenever yeah. it's gonna start working. Oh. Beautiful. No distractions. <laughs> keep, let's keep it going. <sighs> just relax your wrists and just kind of give yourself a little bit of a check up first on your, how do your hips feel in this position? How is your spine doing? Just relax your jaw, any tension that you might have in your face. And just make sure that you Really inhale to your lower abdominals, really send it to your lower core, under the belly button. Just bring that inhale down. Don't hold it in your chest. And as you exhale, try to kind of reach with the top of the head slightly closer to the ceiling. Almost as if you want to grow up slightly a little bit more whilst tucking that tail under. Let's take one more deep breath in. And exhale with your mouth. <sighs> Slowly, let's bring those arms up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, clasp your fingertips and take that stretch. Beautiful. That's it. Drop your shoulders down. And then from here, gently take your side stretch to your right and just look up towards your left forearm. Bring that chin, this time towards your left shoulder. Make sure that your left bum cheek stays on the mat. Inhale. And exhale, gently bring it back. And let's take it on the other side. And stretch. Look up towards your right arm. Lovely, inhale. Hi, Helen, thank you so Hi. much. Hi, sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. And then just bring yourself back to the center, just whenever you are ready. And gently let it go, let go of your arms. Give yourself a nice big hug around your knees and just take that chin as far as you can and take that forward fold. So open up through your hips. Release any tension that you might have in your legs. Pull your shoulders back. Lengthen through your spine. Inhale. And exhale, gently bring yourself back to the center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring them back behind you. Bring your palms kind of going forward. And just open up your chest, press into your palms and open up for your chest. Press it towards the ceiling, completely let go of your neck, your head. Look back, try not to close your eyes. Breathe deep into your stomach. Don't hold it in your chest. Inhale. 
Inhale. And exhale, gently bring yourself back to the center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, drop your right arm and take that side stretch with your left arm. your bum cheek, nicely placed on the mat, breathe into this, fabulous, inhale, and exhale, gently bring yourself back to the center, change, right arm up, take that side stretch, Release any tensions on the right hand side of your body. Breathe it through. Fantastic. Let's take one more deep breath in. And exhale, bring yourself back to the center. And then just keep your knees nice and bent. And we're going to go into seated cat cat position. So just take your hands around your knees and inhale, open up, bring your chin close to your thighs and then exhale, press away. Wrap up your spine, look into your belly button and travel back. Inhale, open up through your chest and then exhale, double, triple chin, tuck that toe under. And again, just like that, back and forth. Inhale. Lengthen through your neck. Exhale, take it back. And a few more times. Inhale. Exhale, press back. Let's go two more times. Exhale, wrap it down. Inhale. And exhale, look into your belly button one more time. And then breathe back into your seated position. Cross your legs and then just bring your feet together. Nice and easy into your butterfly pose. So just clasp your fingertips and rise up. So think about your posture, monitor your spine, see how does it feel. Open up for your chest. Bring your shoulder blades together. Fantastic. Inhale. And with the next exhale, let's take that gentle forward fold in your butterfly pose. Bend your elbows. Double triple chin, look into your belly button. Open up through your hips. Press your shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen. Don't hold your breath. Inhale. And with the next exhale, gently bring yourself back into your seated position. Let's bring those knees together, keep them nice and bent. And we're just gonna bring your feet slightly further away from you. Just bring your hands behind you. And we're gonna lift yourself into your table pose. So lift your hips up, press them up towards the ceiling. Press your fingertips against the mat as much as you can. Just let your neck hang heavy in there. Press your big toes into the mat. Inhale. And with the next exhale, gently sit back down. Lengthen through your legs. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward, seated forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Just make sure you're not bouncing through this. Make sure that you're lengthening through your back first. Make sure there is no gap between your knees. And then once when you feel a little bit more warmed up from the back of your legs, then as you breathe in and out, you can go a little bit close. Fabulous. Inhale. And with the next exhale, gently roll yourself back up into seated. 
And then from here, we're gonna do a little bit of a flow. So bring yourself back into your tabletop position. Inhale, push your hips up. And then exhale, sit back down, slide your hips back and hang and push yourself away from the mat with your hands. And again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, slide it back. And again, hover your bum cheeks over the mat and then press it back. Let's go, three more. Exhale, slide back. And two. And one. Slightly bring yourself back into your seated position. Just cross your feet and swing yourself into your cat cow position. Let's warm up the spine in here. So make sure that your knees are hip width apart. Actively press your palms against the mat. Keep them nice and aligned with your shoulders. And then just let's collapse your belly button. Look up, lengthen through your neck. Relax your face. Exhale, press, double, triple, chin. Look into your belly button, rise yourself up. And again, inhale, wrap it up. Open up your chest, exhale, press. Find your flow, your own rhythm. Follow your breath. And relax, look up. Lengthen your neck. Exhale, press. And again, inhale, look up. And exhale, one last time. And look up. And then from here, gently sit back down into your child's pose. Soak your hips down. Let it go. Make sure your elbows are hovering above the mat. Forehead and the nose are touching. Try not to close your eyes quite yet. And then from here, just travel to your right with your, both of your arms and find that side stretch. Pull that left elbow down to the mat. Don't hold your breath. Send that inhale to your lower abdominals below your belly button. Breathe it through. Inhale. And with the next exhale, travel back, this time to your left, as far as you can. Find that side stretch. Fantastic. Let's take one more deep breath in. And with the next exhale, gently bring yourself back into your center. And then from here, gently sit back down on your heels and then rise up on your knees. Nice and easy. Press your pelvis under. Gently make sure your core is nicely engaged. And then just bring your hands, your palms on your lower back and open up through your chest. Let go of your neck, look back. Relax your chin. Inhale. Exhale, gently bring yourself back to the center. Hold it here for a bit. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gently sit back down. This time, reach with your arms as far as you can. And then just lie down with your chest into your puppy pose. So spread your back to the side as much as you can and take your chest as low as you can. Make sure you engage your core. Don't put that much of a pressure on your lower back. Relax your face and pull your shoulders away from the ears. So 
relax your ankles. Inhale. And with the next exhale, gently make your way back into your cat cat position. And then from here, we're just going to kick that right leg back. Square your hips, no need to stack them. Find that balance, actively press into the mat with both of your hands. And then just take your right leg underneath your left thigh. So it's almost as if you want to stack your knees together so you can feel your thighs working actively together. And then gently sit back down on your right leg into your seated twisted position. Then if you can, gently swing your right leg to the side and we're in our shoelace position. So find your breath in here for a bit. Let's take one more inhale. Exhale it out. And then whenever you're ready, just take that right arm around your left knee and take that side rotation twist. So bring your left arm behind you, press yourself away from the mat and find that twist. Really take that knee towards your chest. Relax your left ankle, right ankle. Relax your jaw. Breathe through this. Find the beautiful stretch in your T zone as well. Rise up above the head, make sure that you're still aware, still conscious of your posture. Inhale. And with the next exhale, gently let it go. Push yourself back into your cat cow position and tangle your legs back into your cat cow. And then from here, we're just going to lift that right leg up in the air one more time. Kick it back and then just bend your knee and take that right knee towards your right elbow, squeeze it through and then press it back. So we're going to do this eight times. So whenever you're ready, inhale, squeeze, exhale, press it back. Six. And five. Four. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. Gently bring yourself back, back into your child's pose. So wrap it all down. Find your breath. Pull your shoulders back. Keep your elbows lifted. Press your fingertips against the mat. Inhale. With the next exhale, bring yourself back into your cat cat position, and this time we're going to go on the other side. So lift your left leg up, take it back, square your hips, press your palms against the mat, look down between your hands, square your hips. Once when you're there, gently bend that left knee and just take that left knee behind your right back. Once when you're there, gently sit back. Push yourself back and slide that left leg so you can basically fit between your legs. Keep that right leg over your right knee. Just find a couple more deep breaths in here just to get you to this position. Opening out through the hips. Open up through your chest. Fill up your lungs. Uh, 
Lovely. Let's take one more deep breath in. And whenever you're ready, gently, let's take that left arm around your right knee and take that side twisted stretch behind you. So bring your right arm behind you, push yourself actively away from the mat. Look back, chin goes towards your right shoulder. Relax your face. Find the stretch within your right leg. Rise up above your head. Breathe it through. Lovely. Inhale. And exhale. Gently bring yourself back to the center and then press yourself back into your cat cow position and tangle your legs back into your cat cow. Once when you're back, gently kick back with your left leg this time and we're gonna do our the, the spider squeezes. So whenever you're ready, just bend that left knee and take your left knee towards the outside of your left elbow and then kick it back. Eight of them. Squeeze. Seven and six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, squeeze, and slowly let it go. Then from here, just push your hips forward and take your body down into your half Chaturanga Dandasana. Bring your feet together and lift yourself up into Cobra. Open up through your chest, stretch your abdominals. Feel free to check yourself from side to side to get that neck stretch a little bit. Keeping it extra. Inhale. And with the next exhale, gently press away through your cat cow position. Keep your knees bent and let's take that half downward dog. So press yourself up, keep your knees nice and bent, and just look back. Double triple chin. Keep your heels hovering above the mat and hold it there. Press yourself away from the mat. Engage your fingertips in here. Lovely, let's take one more deep breath in. And with the next exhale, look up between your hands and then step on the outside with both of your legs to the front of the mat, nice and wide. Keep your feet nice and open and find your goddess pose, goddess squat. So bring your palms together, sit down nice and low into your squat. Keep your chest nice and open. Sit down deep. If that feels better, feel free to swing from side to side just to ground yourself a little bit. Open up for your chest. Inhale. And with the next exhale, place your hands down on the mat and then just lift your hips up into your wide-legged forward fold. So bring your head close to the mat, double triple chin, tuck that belly, tail under, pull your shoulders back. This time, send your weight on your big toes, lengthen through your neck, breathe. Send it into your lower abdominal. Find the stretch from the back of your legs. Let it go. Inhale. And with the next exhale, let's flip and pivot your heels back to the inside, back into your goddess pose. And we're going to do this into your beautiful flow. So just like that. Inhale. 
and exhale, bring your hands back down, pivot your feet to the inside, find that forward fold, and then back again. Inhale, pivot your heels, open up into your goddess, exhale, bring your hands back down, forward fold. Three more times. Sit down nice and low into your goddess. Inhale. Exhale it back. That's two. So get all these. And last one. And pivot, pivot forward. And then just shuffle your feet. Heels and toes, heels and toes together into your forward fold. Find your breath. Feel free to bend one knee after another. A little bit of a church breath. Double triple chin, completely relax your neck. Try to bring your chest on the top of your thighs. Beautiful. Inhale. And with the next exhale, bring your right palm to the front, bend your right knee, and let's take that left arm up, find that opening through your left shoulder. Make sure you're not resting completely on that right palm. Always keep lifting yourself up. Relax your jaw. Beautiful, inhale. And with the next exhale, gently bring your left hand behind you on the outside of your right thigh, or shoulder, uh, shoulders, leggings or shorts. And then from here, lock your left knee, nice and easy, and then just gently start kicking that right leg back and balance it out into your reverse half moon pose. So lift that right leg up as much as you can. Lock your left knee, look down, keep opening up through that left shoulder. Breathe. Inhale. And with the next exhale, bend your left knee, drop your right leg behind you, Pivot your right heel and just find your warrior one. So hips are open, bend your left knee, reach up with your arms. Beautiful. Keep that tail tucked under. Don't let go of your focus. Relax your fingertips. Inhale. And exhale. Drop your arms to the sides. Warrior two. Keep that right heel nice and pivoted. Engage for your left thigh. Make sure both of your arms are nicely leveled. Inhale. And with the next exhale, gently windmill the arms back to the top of the mat. Bend your left knee, step back into your plank. Let's drop those knees. Let's find our half chat, bring it under asana. And cobra, lift yourself up. Find that stretch. Tuck your tail under. Open up through your chest. Keep those big toes together. Relax your jaw. Inhale. Exhale, press through your cat cat position. And then from here, press back into your full or half downward facing dog. See whatever works for you the best today. Make sure you extend your back to the sides. Bring you down through your heels. Lengthen through the back of your legs. Breathe. 
Find the softness in the stretch. Inhale. And with the next exhale, step on the outside with your feet. Back into your goddess. Bring your palms together. Hold the breath for your chest. Press into your palms. Lengthen for your neck. Send the weight on the back of your heels. Inhale. And exhale, drop your hands back to the top, pivot your heels to the outside and find your forward fold, deep forward fold. This time, send your weight on your big toes and just hold it here for a little bit. Find your breath. Relax your neck completely. Pull your shoulders back away from the ears. Inhale. And with the next exhale, let's find that flow five times. Pivot your heels back to the inside. Bring yourself into your goddess. Inhale. Exhale, bring it back. Forward fold. Five. Four. Soak it deep. And three. Two more. Inhale. And last time. Exhale, bring it back. Beautiful. Gently shuffle your feet together. Find that forward fold back again. Let it hang. Pull your shoulders back away from the ears. Inhale. And with the next exhale, bend your left knee this time. Bring your left palm in front of you. And then just reach with your right arm up towards the ceiling. Look up, try to stack your shoulders, reach up. Inhale. Exhale, let's bring that right palm behind you. Grab the outside of your shoulders or leggings. Open up through your shoulder. Keep your left knee nice and bent. Beautiful, inhale. With the next exhale, gently bend your right knee, find that balance and kick that left leg up. Reach up, kick back into your reverse half knee. So lift yourself up from the whole surface of your right foot. Kick back, almost as if you want to Kick and reach something with your left heel. Use your right big toe to find that extra support in there. Lift yourself up from your hand. Inhale. With an ex exhale, bend your right knee. Step back with your left leg. Pivot your left heel to your right. And then just reach up, find your warrior one. So keep that right knee nice and bent. Tag that tail under, biceps close to your ears. Relax your fingertips. Beautiful. That's it. Inhale. And 
time with an ex exhale, drop your arms to the side. Warrior two. Keep that right knee nicely engaged. Evenly spread your arms to the sides. Drop your shoulders down. Fantastic. Let's take one more deep breath in. And with the next exhale, wiggle the arms back to the top of the mat. Bend your right knee, pivot your left heel back. Step back into your plank. Drop your knees, half child, Rangadandasana. Let's find that cobra. Stretch it all up. Open up for your chest. Inhale. Exhale, press through your cat cow position. And then find your child's pose. Reach with your arms forward. Pull your shoulders back. Lovely, let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale, find your cat cow position. And then from here, press yourself into your downward facing dog. A little bit deeper this time than the last time. Double, triple chin. Look back. Inhale. With the next exhale, bend your knees, look up between your hands and step to the front of the mat. Boop, boop, forward fold. Double triple chin, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, bend your knees and slowly, gently rise up, vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms together, Samasit. Find your breath. Just take a second in here to reflect. How does it feel standing up? What is the difference between you standing up and then sitting down or lying down? How does your spine feel? Lovely. Let's take two more deep breaths. Fantastic. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, let's bend that right knee first. Keep it right in the level of your hips. Make sure your hips are nice and squared. Hold it here for a bit. Inhale, and then just clasp your fingertips, take your knee and bring it towards your chest, kick it forward, relax your right foot, open up for your chest, press your shoulder blades together, rise up from your left foot, inhale, and with the next exhale, just take that right leg across your left thigh and then gently reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms together and sit down into your pigeon pose. Standing pigeon pose. Open up for your hip flexor. And again, try to square your hips. Relax your right foot. Soak a little bit deeper if you're losing that balance. Inhale, and 
exhale, press yourself back up, bend your right knee, and then this time just take that right heel towards your bum, take it with your right hand, make sure that your knees are together, just find that stretch first in here, feel free to take your right hand, take your right foot with both of your hands, that's it, keep your knees together, press that tail under, open up through your chest, Find the stretch from the top of your right thigh. Fantastic. Let's take one more deep breath in. With the next exhale, reach with your left arm up. And exhale, let's take that dancer's pose. So start kicking your right foot against your right palm as much as you can. And then gently start bringing that chest down. Make sure that your left hand is right in the section of your eye level. And open up through your right shoulder. Kick as much as you can. The more you're gonna kick, the more balance you're gonna get. And exhale, gently bring yourself back into standing and then just shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. And before we're gonna go on the other side, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms into Savasiti. Ground yourself down. Two deep breaths without raising your shoulders. One of you ready, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your left knee, keep it right in the middle of your left uh, of your hips. Rise up, square your hips, keep your arms up. Hold it there for a bit. Activate your left thigh. Inhale. With the next exhale, clasp your fingertips, take it around your knee and take that knee towards your chest. Press your pelvis under, open up through your chest, rise up from your right big toe. Relax your left foot. And let's just place that left foot over your right thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms together and sit down nice and low. Send your hips back. Open up through your chest. Bring your palms together. Square your hips. Go deeper into your posture. Fantastic. Let's take one more deep breath in. And exhale, gently press yourself back into standing. And then just bend your left heel, bring it towards your bum, grab it first with both of your hands. Keep your knees together. Tuck that tail under. Open up for your chest. Breathe through. Make sure your knees are together, right next to each other. Find the stretch from the top of your right thigh, left thigh. All right, let's take that tensor pose. So make sure that your right leg is rock solid. Lift that right knee up. Inhale, reach your right arm up and start kicking with your left foot this time on the inside of your left hand. And kick. Don't hold your breath. Kick as much as you can. 
Open out through that left shoulder, left hip. If you fully fall, Inhale, and exhale, gently bring yourself back into standing and let it go. Let's finish it up with our vinyasa, final vinyasa. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, forward fold, nice and straight back, let it go. Wrap yourself down, feel your spine lengthening. Inhale, look up. Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees. Step back into your plank. Drop your knees. Let's find that half chat. Ranga Dandasana. Cobra, press it up. Elbows close to your body. Big toes are touching. Lengthen through your neck. Inhale. And exhale, gently press through your cacti position and find your child's pose. Sit down nice and low on your heels. Pull your shoulders back away from the ears. Inhale. And with the next exhale, gently make your way back into your cat cat position and just cross your feet and swing yourself back into your cross legged seated position. If you can from here, just lengthen your left leg first. We're going to keep that right foot right on the inside of your left thigh. And from here. So, whenever you're ready, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, let's find that side stretch in here. So keep lifting that left big toe up. And try to reach as far as you can with your right fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, gently bring yourself back into the center. We're just gonna take that side twist. So bring your left arm on the outside of your right knee and twist and rotate through this towards your right. Lift yourself up from that right hand, right palm, relax your face. Inhale. And exhale, bring yourself back into the center. And then from here, we're going to take the whole torso towards your left leg. Reach both of your arms, both of your hands to the front. And take that whole torso towards the top of your left thigh. And breathe. Find that forward fold. Inhale. And exhale, gently sit back down to the center and let's go on the other side. So let's stretch that right leg to the side. Let's bend your left knee, bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. And let's go on the side stretch. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, let's reach with your left hand this time towards your right big toe. Look up towards your left armpit. Relax your face. Relax your right thigh. Inhale. 
exhale, bring yourself back to the center. Let's find that stretch. Bring your right hand on the outside of your left knee and twist through this. Rise up from your head. Control your lips. Inhale. Exhale. Bring yourself back to the center. Bring your chest on the top of your right thigh. And just reach your hands to the front. Find that forward fold stretch. But try to square your chest towards the top of your right thigh. Relax your right leg completely. Inhale. And exhale, gently vertebra by vertebra. Bring yourself back into your seated position. And then just lengthen through both of your legs. And just shuffle yourself down into your lying position to your Shavasana. So open up for your palms, aim them towards the ceiling, bring your heels to, together, drop your feet apart from each other, bring that chin towards your chest, find your breath, close your eyes, allow yourself the heaviness, Give yourself the permission to completely relax. Let it go. Let go of your jaw. Any worries that you might have on your chest. Let them completely leave you as you exit. Fill up your stomach. Relax your lower back. Visualize the heaviness that doesn't allow any gap between your body and the mat. Observe your breath like an ocean, like sea waves coming to a shore. Back and forth. Relax your ankles, relax your wrists. Our final inhale. Fill up yourself with oxygen. And then gently, you want to be ready, start bringing a little bit of a movement to your fingertips and your feet. And feel free to bend both of your knees gently. And lower back completely soaked into the mat. And then just feel free to make your way on the right side of the body. Just bring your knees towards your chest. Find that fetus position. Keep your eyes closed. Let it all sink in. And we're 
and ex exhale gently. Meet me back in your cross-legged seated position. Beautiful, fantastic. Let's finish this up with bringing those hands up above the head. Bring your palms together, take them down to your forehead, down to your lips, and down to your heart. Thank you so much for finding the calmness, the kindness, the peace with me today. I will hopefully see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.